In this video, we're going to talk about experimental probability, specifically how to find the relative frequency of an event from an experiment. So let's take a look at these example problems. Ms. Wall counted how many students completed their homework on Monday, and the outcomes are in the table below. So frequency means how many, so I counted. 17 students did their homework, three students did not do their homework. What is the relative frequency of students who did not do their homework? So all you do is you find out how many students did not do their homework, three, and then you find out, well, how many students were there total? And to find that out, you have to add up all the students. There were 20 total students, so it was three out of 20. Now they want my answer as a decimal, so I pop this in my calculator, and I find out that this is 0 0.15, which is 15%. 15% of the class did not do their homework. All right, next one. Ms. Wall's class did an experiment to see who came prepared for class. She calculated the relative frequencies and recorded the data in the table below. There were 20 students in the class. So now I'm not giving you the number of students, I'm giving you the relative frequency of each event. So let's see. Brought a pencil to class sharpened, that's 70% of the class. Brought a pencil to class unsharpened, that's 20% of the class did not bring a pencil to class, that's 10% of the class. So it says, how many students did not have a pencil? Well, I know that 0 0.1 is the relative frequency of the kids that did not bring a pencil to class, which is 10%. So I need to find out what is 10% of the class. So I plug that in my calculator. What is 10% of the class and I get two students. So that means that two students did not bring their pencil to class. Now it says how many more, how many more means subtract eventually, right? How many more students brought a sharpened pencil than brought an unsharpened pencil? So I'm going to have to find out the count of each. I know 70% of the class brought a sharpened pencil. So over here I'm going to do 70% of 20. And I know that 20% of the class brought an unsharpened pencil. So I'm going to do what is 20% of 20. And I find out that 14 students brought an unsharpened, sorry, 14 students brought a sharpened pencil, four students brought an unsharpened pencil. So how many more brought a sharpened pencil? 14 minus four is 10. And if you look, if 14 students brought a sharpened pencil, and four students brought an unsharpened pencil. If I add these all together, I should get all 20 students. So let's see, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yep, I get all 20 students. So the last question I have is, using these relative frequencies, how many students could Miss Wall expect to show up with a sharpened pencil in her class of 30 students? So let's see. This class was 20 students and 70% of them showed up with a sharpened pencil. So I'm going to use that probability of 70% of a class shows up. So 70% of a class showed up with a sharpened pencil. I'm gonna expect that that exact same thing will happen when there's 30 kids in the class. So I'm gonna find 0.70 times 30 and I get 21. So my guess is 21 students will come with a sharpened pencil. I hope this was helpful. Please see me if you have any questions.